you just painted your house or you just bought a house that you're in the garage or in the basement and you found a whole stack of cans of paint that look pretty old and pretty nasty looking and they've got uh, for instance something like this all of a sudden you see that there's a, a, a can down there that's that's dripping all over the place and it's you got to do something with it well if it's paint that you're going to use in the future put it into a smaller container just like on our last video but you've got some leftover paints that you don't want or the paint looks really bad or it's three quarters of the way dried and you don't know what to do with it there's some that have small quantities in it some of them have pretty large quantities in it but either way you're not going to use it and you don't know what to do with it and you can't just throw it in the garbage can because it's not going to happen the garbage guys will be really mad at you it's also illegal to do so if it's an oil based paint you're going to want to take it to your local city i got it written down here hang on just a second your local city and county hazardous waste facility and they'll take care of it for you they might charge you uh, a few dollars here and there but it's better more uh, it's more ecological for them to take care of it than for you to try to take care of it illegally now if you've got paint and you think that it's pretty, some pretty decent stuff before you dispose of it Think about donating it. Um, there's a couple places here. You can donate to the, to the Habitat for Humanities. They might need a half a gallon of paint. Um, homeless shelters, drama clubs, because they're always looking to paint sets, uh, children's charities, or maybe the Boy Scouts, or the Scouts, any kind of scout troop, Boys and Girl Scouts, whichever you, you, whatever they call themselves these days. But if you truly want to get rid of it, this is how you're going to do it. All right, so what you're actually going to do is you're going to slide your cans over in front of you like this, and you're going to open them up to assess what you have. All right, now this one is almost, I'm going to say, three quarters dry. If I left it on its side long enough, it would start to drip. This one, on the other hand, I've got about, mm, there's a pretty fair amount left in there, maybe, maybe about that much, maybe about a quarter of a can but I don't want it anymore all right so what we're going to do is now for this one here that's almost dry on the inside according to our town and most towns too but check with your local authorities and see what they say I can leave this open for maybe the next garbage day or maybe the next garbage day after that and let it dry completely and then I can throw it into my garbage bin so that's going to work out pretty good and that's what I'll do with this one but this one here, this one here is a different story. If I tried to make it sit there uh, for a couple of garbage days, it's going to be here for almost a year because I've got a quarter of a can that's wet. I got wet paint. All right, so what do you do? You go to the store. You buy the cheapest kitty litter that you can find. Don't buy Tidy Cat, don't buy Fresh Step, those, you're going to spend $15 a barrel for those things. Something like this, this ran $3 and it was on sale, bonus gift. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this in here, just like this. It sinks right to the bottom of the can. I'm going to fill the can. Now, am I going to sit here and I'm going to mix it? No, no I'm not. But what I will do is I will put the top back on this. I'm going to, because there's some crappy residue, because someone else opened it and used it, I'm going to put a covering over top of it before I hammer it down. And just because this is what I do, I'm just going to put garbage. G A R B A G E. So I know that when I put it by the by my little uh, uh, dumpster for the garbage guys, um, I know enough to put it into the can. Because right now, I'm going to leave it set outside of the garbage can. On garbage day, I'm going to put it into the garbage can because that cat litter that's in here and it was almost to the top will soak up all of that paint so it's not going to be an environmental hazard 
So according to our area, we can do that, but check with your area to make sure that that's okay. So according to your local area, you'll have to follow their rules and find out what they want you to do with the, with the paint that you want to dispose of. But if it's in pretty good shape, please, please, please donate it to those other charitable organizations. They could certainly use them. And even if, they, even if they don't use it, they'll find a place for it. They know all these people all over the place that they can start trading things and, and giving things away to each other. So they're, they're going to love having a donation. Um, cleaning out something like this, is, it's a little time consuming. Uh, you're going to have extra storage space for yourself. You'll get rid of all this stuff and you're saying, oh, what am I going to do with this? Now you know what you can do with it because someone showed you how to do it. Me. You can do this. This is not hard. Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do it. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how. Like I did. And I'll see you on the next video.